welcome to my channel Kiba1026 here and thank you for joining me witches wizards ghosts and ghouls whatever your fancy is and I thank you for joining me today so let's get to it hello and welcome back to my channel today I know it's been a really long time and it takes me a while to post my videos but I do do them when I get the package it's just it takes me forever to put them onto YouTube. So for now, here's the Walt Life Not So Spooky Delivery. So this is the October box and I did cancel my subscription for this one because I wanted to try a different subscription box and to be honest, I really just don't have enough for both boxes, but let's get into this one. So this is the Walt Life October box. And the first thing you see is Happy Halloween. And then it goes into their take a snap, get a tons of likes, post on Facebook and Instagram, and then you can win some stuff. And it just shows like a little Jack Skellington and Stranger Than Us Cinderella. And there's zero from nightmare before christmas oh my god okay so i just looked into this box and oh my god i love it okay so zero is my is one of my favorite um i love nightmare before christmas and this is the cutest thing ever it's a beautiful pop and i have a little itty bitty pop of him and oh he's just so cute and he looks adorable and then this is what came out of his box out of his box it just says Funko Pops and it shows you that it, I guess it comes in the Disney treasures and stuff. And, and oh my goodness, it's a lanyard of Jack Skellington. Okay, this is the really cutest box that I've ever had. And oh my gosh, I wish I could keep the subscription. And then it gives you jelly beans of Mickey Mouse. And last you get... Mickey little bag of Mickey, those reusable bags. These are usually like two dollars. I always find them so expensive. And this is the Evil Queen bookmark from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Um, and then on the back it says Walt to Life, an exclusive Disney fan club. And then you get a little postcard of was it brave and it's Merida and her mom as a bear and then on here it shows her father so it's actually really cute I like their little postcards and stuff they put in here and then on the bottom of the box it says happy Halloween and it has Jack Skellington on there I don't know if I can show you with all these little fuzzies oh, and then of course the little coin that if you collect all eight well life coins you can win a Disney trip for two um so that's actually cute and so neat. I really do love this box. <laughs> I love anything. And then of course it gives you like the pamphlet of everything that's in the box. And then it writes something that thank you for ordering from Walt Life. So this is really cute. I really like it. Okay. So just, <laughs> you know, just to recap, you got zero pop zero the little bag the jelly beans and the lanyard from nightmare before christmas and just the added bonuses are a bookmark and the postcard so these are really cute okay so i did get three boxes today and i will try and do them all on this um on this video because I know one time I tried doing like two and it was a lot. So let's see. Let me rip into this one. Oh, this is my witch casket and it was upside down. This is my witch casket from London. I absolutely love this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move my Walt Disney Life, my Walt Life subscription out of the way. If you can't tell, I work in a hospital, so I keep saying subscription, prescription for subscription. So this is Witch Casket. It comes from London. 
and I'll leave all the details below of how much the box is because it really does come out to like 40 to 45 for shipping and handling. It is a 30 pound box and then shipping is like around seven pounds, but then you have to um, switch it over into American dollars, which is a little bit more. So here we go. Here's the first look. Okay. And then, okay. So here's like the list of contents that it gives you. And it looks like the today in this month's subscription, yeah, subscription box, you get two um, little cards or uh, the art, the art, the art print. And here's one with a broom and a pumpkin and a little spell on the moon in the background. And then here's an poison apple. And these are really cute. I really like it. And this box actually kind of feels kind of heavy. So I'm kind of excited to see what we have. We got a sticker. And then our little, it's an empowerment elixir kit. Includes everything you need to create your own magical empowering potion elixir. And I have, let's see what it is. Let's see what's inside. And that actually smells really good. Okay. So we have, let's see what it says. Empowering elixir, you need meadow sweet, basil, pomegranate peel, water, and a full moon. So this is the pomegranate peels. This is, wait. I know my basil. Okay, so this smells like our basil, but let me just be sure, cause this one, I know my basil, which is kind of strange. Okay, this one's our basil and this one's our meadows weed. So I'm a little bit, I don't cook as much, but I, when I do cook, I know it usually smells good. So it just tells you exactly what you'll need, which is a water full moon and then your three little herbs. And then it tells you exactly how to, how to mix it and stuff. Okay, for a minute, I thought it was, you were gonna drink it. <laughs> okay, and then on the back of it, the instructions, it kind of has a nice little print and it's, it's very interesting actually. Okay. We've got that. And then you've got your pumpkin spice tea. And I, the ingredients are black tea, apple, orange, rose hips pieces, hibiscus, calendula, sunflower petals, cinnamon, and natural flavors, organic complement. So I really like teas a lot and black tea is one of my favorites. It's almost one that I drink every morning. And wow, that looks pretty. This is what smells really good. I was wondering because the box smells really, really good, but I didn't know if it was this or the herbs. So let's see. Let's get Empowerment Crystal Set. So it says here that you have a multi-banded. I never understand how to pronounce this. Agate or agite or something like that. It's a protection insomnia slash bad dreams. Um, grounding, silver leaf, jasper. Um, balance, grounding, stability, willpower. Leopard skin, jasper. Change, forgiveness, insecurity, anger management, green adventure, success, good fortune, prosperity, independence, and tiger's eye. Confidence, charisma, power, integrity. Okay. So in order to get this open for you, I have to pull a little bit on this. So it's an empowerment crystal set. And there are several crystals it says in here. And to be honest, I think the only one I'll know is the tiger's eye, which is this one. So it looks kind of...
kind of like that. And I believe this is what they call the tiger's eye. It looks very pretty. And then you've got this crystal. And then this one. Okay, so this one might be the Jasper. This one might be the Leopard Skin Jasper. And then this is probably the Silver Leaf Jasper. This one might be the Agate or Agate. It's kind of hard to tell these crystals apart, man. And then you've got the Green Adventure. Okay, the only one I can tell is the Tiger's Eye and the Green Adventure because <laughs> it's a little obvious. But that's cool. We got a stone collection. Then you have the Pentacle Altar. Altar? Sorry. <laughs> altar Tile. Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, so it looks like a coaster, to be honest. But it's a pentagram coaster or altar tile. And there's still a lot, to be honest. Wow. Okay, this looks like something for incense. I'm going to assume it's for incense or it could be for that kit. Okay, you have a vegan Belgian chocolate, and it says trick or treat on it. And then, this is super cute. It says fog's breath, and it's just a glass bottle. It looks kind of wet inside. So you kind of wonder, but I'm not opening it. But it, go, it will go perfectly with my jars from Hot Topic and you've got resting witch face <laughs> I love these these are cute pins I absolutely love it then you have your spell candles and oh my goodness you get a lot in this one this month and this is the cutest thing it says hocus pocus it's a key ring and it's just plastic. Got a little cat with a witch's hat on the back. And it's a cute little key ring. And then you have your incense sticks. Or cones. Or sticks. I'm going to say sticks. And they are of... Hmm. Okay, so wizard spell. And I'm going to assume that's like a pumpkin flavor. Or smell. Wizard spell. Let's see. I don't know. It smells kind of citrusy. But then it also smells very perfumey. So that I'm going to leave there. And then you've got your um, your scroll. So let me see what we've got. Okay, I wasn't going to be able to do it without scissors, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to need scissors throughout this entire thing because, let's be honest, I can't take off stickers unless they're on DVDs. Okay, so <laughs> our scroll says this month, witchy tips. And then I won't necessarily read it out to you, but if you want, you can go ahead and just, you know, pause the movie and go or pause the video and you can read it yourself. So we got a lot this month too, because last month we had, it was a relaxation. So let's, oops. So this month, 
it just says witch casket october's witch casket is here and there's no hiding the fact it's halloween or samhain this month so samhain is the halloween spirit or the spirit for october it's supposed to signify i think i know like a lot of people a lot of movies come in and out with samhain but i also know that it's supposed to be like some harvest spirit or something during the month of october so you get your witch casket exclusive potion bottle um your state or slate altar okay so just to recap what we all got which you get your potion bottle your slate altar tile your empowerment crystal set your elixir empowerment elixir kit which oh my goodness yay. Your empowerment elixir kit your pin your enamel pin your hocus pocus key ring your parchment scroll um let's see what else your trick-or-treat chocolate bar mm, your incense sticks your six pack spell candle kit and then oh my goodness your tea along with your cards and i'm gonna assume this whoa no. i can't fit it all this goes to your spell kit because I remember it saying something that you mix it all together with water, but never said it, you had a bowl. So I'm going to assume you put it in here because it is supposed to be like an aroma type, um, an aroma type of, I don't know, thing. Unless this is an incense holder. But this is what we got for the month of October. And it is a lot and it's actually pretty cute and i really do love this bottle this is my favorite out of all of this um I'll, and i guess from the walt life i have to say the zero pop is my favorite oh. so let me put all of this back and then my third subscription lit joy crate and let's see what they have for us today and it's really just a generic um hashtag lit joy crate and then you can do at lit joy crate so i mean it is like a book subscription and this is our first peak for this month excuse me and it has like level ups where you can subscribe to and there's their information on the bottom and just a little welcome card earn points to level up and it gives you like refer a friend or empowering and such like and such like that so the month of october is the fallen angel and it has a little booklet it says read me first what is lit joy crate and then there are spoilers after this. So it gives you a little bit of in a little bit of what's in the crate to begin with. So let's start with this box and see what we've all <laughs> Okay. If none of you have seen Mortal Instruments or even read Mortal Instruments, you're gonna be <laughs> you're not gonna know where this is from because this right here okay this right here is the sign for mortal instruments and yes i am very much a nerd where i read all about it because here's the angel wing the angel wing and some of the signs that she writes that you write or subscribe or write on yourself that look like tattoos and they kind of like supposedly mortal instruments is that one side is 
half angel, part of angel, or has angel blood in their in their in their genetic makeup or something because somewhere along down the line someone had made a deal with an angel to defeat the demons that plagued earth so vampires werewolves all of those that come out they are supposedly um have demon blood in them uh, even warlocks and all of them they all have demon blood there's only one that has both demon and angel blood, and those are the fairies. But I think fairies um, try to trick you into eating their food where you have to stay in their realm forever. So it's a lot of... You have to read Mortal Instruments. You have to read it because it's very detailed. And then we got a pin. The pin says, Hope makes its own magic. Once upon a time, an angel and the devil fell in love. It did not end well. And it has two, two pins in the back so it doesn't spin around on you. Because that's what I have trouble with a lot. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> okay, fingerless gloves. But it's in the form of Supernatural. So, for those who don't watch, or watch Supernatural, you should watch it. It's a very good show. Even I, I like it. Fingersless gloves. Okay. I've never been good with gloves. Oh. It's kind of like that. Oh, okay. I really like these types of gloves. They're my favorite. Oh. Well, it would make sense that it has a little thumb hole. <laughs> Hey, Rachel, you've forgotten what it was like to wear gloves. I really like these, but I don't know how my patients will like them if I come in to work with them. So then you've got a little notepad. To be honest, I'm not even going to pretend like I know where that's from. I'll read the descriptions to see where it's from. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And then you also get a book. So you get like four items. Plus a book, and I believe it's like $30 a subscription for the whole thing. And it's actually pretty cute. I like it. I mean, there is a $10 subscription, but I think you get only the book. And then there's like another one where you just get the items. Or I might be it. I'll leave you all the information down below. Because I can't be honest. One of these days, I'll look it up and learn it. So this month's book is Angel Mage. And it looks like this. And I'm going to assume this is where it's... Okay. So more than a century had passed has passed since Lilith crept into the empty sarcophagus of St. Margaret, fleeing from the fall of Istara. But she emerges from her magical sleep still beautiful looking no more than 19 and once again renews her single mind request to be united with her lover Palenio or something the archangel Ivistara so I'm gonna assume this is the one where it's saying where an angel and the devil fall in love I had thought of a story somewhat like that but I mean I never kept up with it sorry I think I'll start that again because I really did like the idea of a fallen angel and a, well, actually a human, but, or an angel and an angel. I don't know. Something along the lines. And then here are the cards. The, um, I want to say they're the, I'll tell you right now what the cards are. Um, the exclusive, the Crate Joy cards. So Ace is... Our beloved Maleficent, who came, whose movie came out this month. I can't wait to go see it. I still haven't. And then Ursula, one of my favorite villains, because I absolutely love her voice. Hades from Hercules. And I absolutely, I think he's pretty cool. And I like him in Once Upon a Time, if you've ever seen Once Upon a Time. He was really cool. And I like the fact that there was a plot twist between him and the Wicked Witch of the West. So, I really do love movies and TV shows, 
so I watch a lot of things all kinds even like from comedy like space balls all the way to romance like letters uh, to Juliet and even Nicholas Sparks I even read his books I have almost all his books and my favorite is a walk to remember but then of course Yzma you cannot have you cannot not have Yzma. She's too cool. In fact, she's hilarious. So these are the four ace, um, aces. So you've got spades, which is Maleficent. Hearts, which is Ursula. And I want to say cloves, which is Hades or clovers. And then um, diamonds, which is Yzma from The Emperor's New Groove. And then, of course, you have your signed um card and it ta it tells you it just says dear reader and it gives you like this whole you know thing about the book and then it's the author and she signs it so this is actually a pretty cute box i actually do like it a lot um my favorite are actually the cards but i guess if i have to say which one's my favorite would be the supernatural gloves these are my favorite supernatural gloves and i absolutely love these types of gloves i have lace gloves that come all the way up to here and they they end right here i just have a whole array of assortment of stuff so let's go ahead and get into so garth nix is the author of the book angel mage and it just says with an ageless young woman a woman with terrifying angelic powers bent on reuniting with her lover no matter the cost to anyone else so anyone who knows the story of lilith every or yeah lilith but i think this one's spelled different so i don't think it's lilith herself i think it's it's spelled l-i-l-i-a-t-h so let me know if you think that's lilith from the the common theory that Adam had a first wife named Lilith. And then you have Stephanie Brown, who did the art for the Angel Mage. So this is the card that says Dear Reader. Daughter of Smoke and Bone Pin. So this is, you can answer both Angel Mage and Daughter of Smoke and Bone. So I'm guessing... This is this came in the Fallen Angel kit, so it's um I think it's from the book Daughter of Smoke and Bone is what it's saying. And then you have um the Shadow Hunter Rune bracelet from of course Shadow Hunters or I called it Shadow Hunters. I meant um I just said it right now too. Uh Shadow Hunters, which is the bones. Um, that didn't answer anything, did it? Okay. So, the Shadow Hunter collection from Clairvoyance, her, um, not Clairvoyance, from her book, um, City of Bones and all of that. I've read them all. Well, I've read up to two. Then, the boyfriend started to get mad. So... <laughs> going to stop there because I really do like it but the boyfriend got me mad so then you have the internal devices clockwork angel notepad which if anyone's seen infernal devices series it's also the one who I think it's the one who made the shadow hunters and then the lick joy collectors train cards the disney villains at this time and that's actually pretty cool and then, of course, our Supernatural gloves. And then you could have added add-ons where you could have added on Maleficent's candle, Doctor Who's Weeping Angel and such. So November's theme will be the Forbidden Forest. So I can't wait for that. I really do like Lit Cray Joy because you get a book. You get four items, which bracelet gloves notepad and your exclusive pin and then you get the exclusive 
um, trading cards along with a <laughs> with a card written by and signed by the author. So all of this for $30 shipping, I want to say is a little bit more, but I can't honestly tell you what is shipping and I'm dropping everything. Just so you know, I was dropping everything at work and I normally drop everything almost on a daily basis. So this isn't anything new for me. I'm a gigantic class. But thank you for watching. And if you wish to hear more of my opinions, I will start posting, but I'm going to post more. I feel like on scrapbooking ideas, um, my writing, because uh, I want to start that back up again. I do have, if you watch anime, I am a huge anime fan. If you can see, I have um, bleach in the background. In fact, all those top posters are all bleach. So I do have bleach. Um, but I do what's called fan fiction. I really do love. Um, it's fanfiction.com. I've been writing. I have four stories that I haven't finished. And I swear I'm going to finish them. But they are of Yu Yu Hakusho and Bleach. And I forgot the other two stories. Oh, I did a crossover between Disney and non-Disney. So I really have a thing for, because I saw some parodies on YouTube for the little mermaid ariel and treasure planet jim or some jim i just can't remember his full name but i really did like those and if you want to if you want to read them i'll put them put the link down below um i do also want to start this book or this idea of a book that I wanted to kind of base it more off of Buffy, where it's a girl that is a fallen angel um, that falls in love or fell in love with an angel. But she, there was, it's a whole thing that I really want to start doing. I do have a fascination with all sorts of different things. I do love the Wiccan side of things and I do love the dark side of things. But dark doesn't necessarily mean evil. It can also mean it's just not presented in the light, which most of our, truth be told, most of our, our secrets is what's in the dark. Um, so that's all I got for this month's three boxes. And I thank you for waiting here, listening to me rant. But I do want to start doing more movies, TV shows. I watched a bunch of TV shows as a child. TV was my life. Even now as an adult, TV is still my life, but I watch a little less. <laughs> Work. <laughs> Yay. But um, thank you for, for sitting here watching my videos. If you just click down below. Subscribe if you're new here. If you're not, then thank you for returning. Bye. I thank you for joining me, witches, wizards, ghosts, and ghouls. And if you wish to keep watching more videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for joining and have a good day.